Hey guys, welcome back to another Spin Tires Mud Runner modding tutorial. First, before we start, I just want to say thank you for all that support that I had on my last modding video. And with that in mind, I'm going to try to make this a more in-depth video on how to mod Spin Tires just because some people had issues with different versions of the game in the last video. So, this video I'm going to be showing you how to install mods for mud runner if you have the steam version using the steam workshop and then i'm going to show you how to install any mod using uh, modding websites that should theoretically work with any version of the game so we're going to start off by starting steam so once you have steam loaded up you're greeted with the store so if you go up here to library go to games go down to spin tires mod runner you will see a button called browse the workshop so once you're in here this is the workshop for spin tires mod runner so this has a lot of mods that you can add straight from steam into spin tires so i'm just going to go to most subscribe right here and just view all the items and so right now for this video i'm going to be adding these two mods so to add the mods you just click on it and for me it says subscribed but for you it'll look like this it'll say it'll have the subscribe button just click it it'll say subscribed and it'll say it's been added to your subscriptions which basically means that it's been added to your game so so i'm adding the siberia map and i'm adding this ford raptor vehicle mod so if you're using steam as simple as that to add mods to mod runner from steam but the issue with this is sometimes you won't be able to find the mods you were looking for on Steam itself. So if you're looking for the Hummer mod, you're not going to find it on here. Or the Mercedes 6x6 mod, you're not going to find it on here. So for that, you have to use the second method, which I'm going to show you right now. So the second method is you have to open up the browser and go to worldofmods.com and go up here and choose mud runner make sure you choose mud runner because if you choose spin tires and you try to install those mods it's not going to work so once you're in mud runner just go through look for some games that you or some mods you like and for this video i found a vehicle mod which is this hummer h1 and a map mod which is this challenge map so i have both of these downloaded right here and what we're gonna do is prepare our root folder for the, to accept the mods so you're, you're gonna have to go to this address right here or the equivalent of this address on your computer it should be in your steam steam apps common and the spin tires directory so once you're in here you're gonna click new folder and make a folder called media once you're done with that go down to config.xml and open it with either notepad or notepad plus plus and you're going to see something that looks like this you're not going to have that line that i just deleted you're only going to have these lines so what you're going to do is you're going to copy this line right here this media.zip line click enter after that and just paste it paste this line again and delete the dot zip at the end so it just says media so this is going to match the folder that we created earlier and remember you need to it's case sensitive so if you don't use capitals and all that stuff it might mess up so just click save and close it so right now we have this media folder and this config.xml so now we can go to the mod. So first let's install the Hummer mod. So when you open it up, we'll have this, uh, most modders will add um, instructions. So this guy has instructions in here, but pretty much what he wants you to do is copy to the game folder. So as you can see, there is a media folder in here and we've already created the media folder. So what you do is there might be multiple files in here and not just the media but just copy everything that's in here just drag it over to your root directory it will automatically put it inside the media so we just created this but if we look in there now it has all that all those folders that were in here before so we're going to do the same 
for the map mod this is the off-road challenge we're going to open it up um, same modder or the same format and we're going to open up this and just drag this into the root directory not into the medias folder but into the root and it'll automatically place all the files in the correct place so we can close that and now we have a modded spin tires game and pretty much our mods are installed in here and just to double check we can open up the xml and you can see that our path for the media is still in there close that and there you have it so now i am going to meet you guys in game so i can show you how to select the vehicles from the selection menu so i will be right back all right, so we're in game and I'm gonna show you how to choose the map and vehicles. So if we go up here to single player and click on the map to open up all the maps that we have, we can see right here is the off-road challenge we installed from World of Mods. And we scroll all the way down in the uncertified mods, we see Siberia, which is the one that we subscribe to from the Steam Workshop. And if we go over here to trucks, these trucks we can swap out so if we click on one of them we can see up here is the Hummer H1 that we installed from World of Mods and we scroll all the way down here is the pack of Raptors that we subscribe to from the Steam Workshop so pretty much that is it on how to install the vehicles and if we go right here to the Proving Grounds we can see that we have the Raptor right here, and we can sp um, click spawn and spawn in the Hummer. And just click add. We'll add it to right there. So here we are, we got the Raptor and the Hummer that we just added in. And we can also look at the other levels, um, but it's not. This uh, level selector is glitched out for me. but. Yeah, so that was how to install um, map and vehicle mods for Spin Tires Mod Runner, both using Steam and modding websites. I hope that it worked for you. If you have any questions, just leave it down in the comments and I'll get to it as soon as I can. But yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.